some things, I know it's a little funny talking to the media, but they don't, you can't always believe what you read. But the WHO is claiming that China didn't disclose that they even had it. And that's mind boggling to me. So where does it start? Does it start in Postville? Does it start in New York? Does it start in China? The what ifs, who ifs, how, and all that are, are something that probably only God really knows the truth. Cuando se empezó a escuchar el rumor del, del virus por las noticias y todo, pues teníamos miedo, ¿verdad?, por, por todo lo que se oía. Pero pues esperábamos que no llegara pues, hasta acá, a nosotros. Y de repente se escuchó un rumor que, pues, que un rabai había venido de Nueva York y que, y que lo tenía y que ya lo habían sacado de de la planta, porque que, que tenía el virus y que estaba trabajando. Y todos empezaron a murmurar, a decir, ¿será cierto? ¿serán mentiras? Y en fin, así pasó. So in the early days of the pandemic here, the pattern we saw was a definite number of viral introductions. We, we tracked about 14 uh, cases where the virus had arrived in our region. But at the time, the spread in most of those cases was quite limited. The one striking exception we saw was in Postville in Iowa. By comparing the sequence of that Postville virus to other viruses from all over the world that had been sequenced, it shared most similarity with viruses that had been circulating a couple of weeks earlier in the northeastern United States, uh, particularly in New York City. So it quickly became clear that that was centered on a meatpacking plant. The rumors and the numbers kept propagating and the Iowa Department of Public Health was not sharing specific information on where this outbreak was. And people assumed it was Postville. So then 20 miles away, people in Waukon were not taking protective measures, not taking action because, quote, it was in Postville, not in our area. And that's not good either because uh, you had people with a false sense of security. Initially, it was community spread. Um, after the first couple of weeks, we started noticing more meatpacking plant employees and their household contacts. And then from there, we just kind of saw those, those cases multiply. So it was clear that a couple of individuals from New York City had visited Postville at a time frame consistent with the introduction of the virus, and those individuals were, were known to be COVID positive. So based on all of these data, we think it was a single introduction of a single strain of virus into this region. And then because it was in a meatpacking plant, which is a particularly challenging environment, I believe, to mitigate viral spread, it really spread like wildfire very, very quickly. Escuché que ya habían muchos contagiados. Yo hablé con los de la lavandería, los que proporcionan bata, guantes, todo eso, que yo necesitaba una mascarilla. Y me dijo, no, no te vamos a dar mascarilla. Le dije, ¿por qué? Me dijo, porque no, se están agotando. Solo se las vamos a dar a los enfermos. First it ripped through uh, the Jewish community and We really got a grip on it quickly, and no deaths from the onset, but a number of sick people. Then it triggered over to the Hispanic community, and then it triggered over to the Muslim community, and it triggered over to the, also the population at large. The largest single immigration raid in the country 
700 warrants, 300 arrests. Agriprocessors, a kosher meatpacking plant, lost three quarters of its workforce. ICE agents executed criminal and civil search warrants at the company, resulting in the seizure of boxes of evidence and the arrest of 389 undocumented alien workers. Postville is unique. It's like a Norman Rockwell bucolic town. It's very rare to find Orthodox Jews in a rural setting. But here, because of the needs of the kosher industry to have a place, it's better to bring the plant to do the processing where the animals are instead of having to ship cows all over the place. So they came here. Empecé el 8 de abril a estar enferma. Vinieron de la Marina a hacer el test y yo ya no estaba ahí porque yo ya estaba enferma. Vinieron los de la Marina, hicieron el test y a las personas que no fueron ese día los mandaron al hospital en la planta pagó. Yo le decía a mi esposa, yo siento como algo en contra de, de los que dirigen la planta, porque escuchaba yo que en otros lados, cuando se escuchaban rumores de eso, tomaron medidas de seguridad y aquí no. Él me dice, usted se entrega por completo al trabajo, y cuando se enferma a ellos no les importa. You know, sometimes you have a building that goes on fire and you bring all the fire departments from all the local towns and you still can't put the fire out. So does that mean you don't have good fire departments? Sometimes the fire is so hot that nobody really knows how to bring it under control.